Well, the wing base, uh, it was derived from my inability to carry an instrument with me. I travel a lot, you know, flying from Boston to LA all the time on business, and I just never had an instrument with me. So what I did is, you know, I was just messing around with the cable on my standard bass one day, and I'm like, you know what? This might work. So I put the cable on the 12th fret, started playing around, said, you know, I'm going to design a short instrument that I can take with me, put in my backpack, and, and so on. So, Anyway, I sent uh, an original design up to Chris Stambaugh, which is this prototype right here. And I took this to NAMM last year. I see a lot of guys saw it. You know, Chuck Rainey, Steve Bailey, Marcus Miller. And everybody was like, you know, at the Bass Bash, everybody was had you know, lots of interest in it. So I said, hey, maybe I have a product here. So what I did, I uh, got with uh, Chris Stambaugh, the original builder, and we decided to set up a plan to, to produce these. So. You know, here we are, and uh, you know, we just started in July uh, of this year, and we've sold about a dozen of these so far. So it's actually uh, going pretty well. Yes. And uh, you know, as as they get out there uh, in the market, you know, more and more players get used to the fact that you know they can play you know half half of a bass, you know. And uh, you know, the, the great thing about it is you can also uh, bring it back down to normal range with uh, an octave, you know, sub octave. I find like the micro pog is really really good. The green, uh, the three leaf octaver is really good as well. Uh, and they're you know they're thinking you know the OC2 sounds more synthy than the the micro pog, but you, know, you get all sorts of different sounds. And this, these basses play really well with effects. You know like a nice uh, shimmering reverb, you know, maybe some chorus and stuff like that for you know soloing or you know chord counting and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty versatile and it's very portable. You can, you can actually wear it around the house and not hit your wife in the head with it. So, you know. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, Tell me a little about the ones you have here. Like, uh, what are some of the electronics you have? Well, this is uh, all the wing bases are passive. However, you know, we do offer a custom option of a preamp of your choice. Uh, you know, as you can see, we've actually left room in the, in the body cavity. So you can install your own or you can have a tech do it. But it's just passive electronics. It's your basic uh, tone and volume controls here. Uh, hip shot bridge. This is the, probably the most important component of the entire instrument here because you want a very high quality bridge and tuners for it. Because of the short scale, you know, you want it to, to uh, be as high quality in that department as possible, as well as the pickup, Bartolini pickups uh, we're using at the moment. And then, uh, you know, Chris, Chris does everything else. He, uh, you know, we offer mahogany and black limbo as body options. We offer maple and rosewood as fingerboard options. So you can you know, mix and match. You know, whatever, whatever your tastes are, we offer a, a four-string, five-string, and a six-string, and a four-string lefty. So, you know, lefties, you know, they always feel left out. We figure, hey, you know, it's just the reverse. Reverse of the template, so we decided we'll offer our lefties. Beautiful. And you're at wingbase.com? Wingbase.com, yes.